Hey y'all, so this is for Aries, the end of 2021, going into 2022. All right, intuition. What do you guys know that you're not following? Aries. I don't know why this got rising. Pisces with Aries. I'm getting cusp energy too. Aries, Pisces, Pisces, Aries, cusp. Aries, intuition. Some of you guys could be missing a Pisces. Intuition, locked in. One more. I want you now. All right, so someone is overly obsessed with you, Aries, or you feel this way about someone. I'm definitely getting something about a Pisces. I'm, I'm really getting Pisces, Aries, cusp. Like, you're obsessed with someone. You want to be with that person. You want to be locked in. This person will do anything for you. This, That's what I'm getting. I don't know if you guys have had sex already, but it's some mind-blowing sex. I tell people all the time, like, Aries, sex is bomb. I don't care what nobody says. I just don't. I don't. They were my best partner. <sighs> Memories. Anyways, let's pull some energy. Some more advice for Aries. Damn. Am I not supposed to know? Oh. Cancer. Cancer. Intuition. Duh. Moon energy. Cancer. That's what I was getting. I was like, something's not right. But anyways, you and your loved ones are safe. I don't know what that's about. But I also feel like you just really want to nurture this situation. I really feel like you want to nurture this situation. Some of you guys can have cancer in your chart. I'm getting also expect a powerful change. Hmm. And prosperity lies ahead with a Taurus energy, Cancer energy. I'm getting Pisces energy. All right. You're about to be in a commitment soon. That's what I'm getting. I'm really getting you are about to be in a commitment soon and you have no clue that it's coming. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer or some of you guys are going to reconcile with a Cancer. But if it was, if it ended... You guys miss each other. Like, this is an Aries missing their partner or someone they used to be with. All right, let's clarify with some love oracle. Romance oracle. I keep calling these damn things the love oracle. Either way, tell me what Aries needs to know. Okay. All right. Release your ex. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I'm gonna put this card back in. I damn sure don't think that was supposed to come out. Um, all right. Aries, I don't know what it is about you guys and relationships because you're so stubborn, Taurus energy. You're so stubborn that you won't tell the person how much you really love them, but at the same time, you want them back. Now, how is that gonna work? So you really have a decision to make. You're either going to make it work with this person, keep people out of your business, and y'all do what y'all do by yourselves, or you're going to let them go and live freely. If it's a cancer, this type of shit would drive a cancer crazy. Because just be real about yourself and be real about your feelings, how you feel. Now, if you do decide, which I feel like you're going to decide to retreat with this person and give it... You know, y'all really need to disconnect from everyone and keep people out your business. I really believe that, you know, you're going to be good. It's going to be some stability in this. I honestly also feel like you cannot be without this person. I don't care what lie you tell anyone. You can't be without this person. You need them. All right. My deck is closed. Let's get some information. You can't be without this person. No need to keep lying. And you know you can't. So clarify Aries reading. Who are we talking about? I'm getting a, yeah, I'm definitely getting a King of Wands. I'm getting fire and I'm getting water energy. The world card in the reverse. Y'all not into this. I get you being super stubborn. You're not working on it. Stop being so stubborn. You know you want this to work, so why are you acting like this? Yeah, yeah you're going to not... <laughs> Oh, goodness. So as of right now, you're not going to take the risk on this situation, okay? Um, yeah, you're not going to move forward with this situation. 
I think you're gonna let this person go as of right now, but something about me just felt like you are gonna change your mind. Yep, Queen of Cups energy. I really feel like you're gonna change your mind about this in the future. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. You, goodness, hold on, wait. Yeah. After you've taken a break, I really feel like you're gonna sit down and think about how much you love this person. This could very well be your husband. Taurus Capricorn energy. I, I don't really see Aries with Virgos ever. But Taurus Capricorn energy. You just need to take a break. Go do your little thought shit for a second. And come back to your marriage. If you do decide to walk away, which I doubt, you will be moving forward. And you will just be dealing with random people. I don't see you getting into a commitment. I just don't see that happening, okay? It'll be lust filled on top of the Queen of Wands with this Ace of Wands. It will be lust filled. It won't be anything you want to be serious about. Not at all, okay? I don't see you making any more real commitments for a very long time, Aries, if you decide to not make it work with your ex, all right? Something about you and this situation is extremely immature, and I'm getting you broke somebody's heart. Ben, immature. Let's go talk. You're always in your head about this person, but you won't make no movement. You won't bring no love offer. So what are we supposed to do? You won't make the call. You know you miss this person. My deck is closed. I'm over it. But yeah, you know you miss this person, but why is it so hard for you to... I'm not getting it. It's you. It's you holding you back from you and the happiness that you want. All right, let's clarify this. Give me an oracle card for this reading. It's you. I mean, Aries, y'all so stupid. Prayers, smoke. Like, yeah, you gaslighting this person. You know damn well you want to be with this person. You know you do. At night, you pray about them. At night, you want to make sure they find that fire and that water is nothing like that connection, Aries. I'm telling you, fire and water. It is bomb. It is bomb. And I feel like you know what you're missing out on, too. And I'm also getting that this could be a Pisces, Aries cusp. Fire and that water. If you can't see it, it's a beautiful card. But honestly, stop. All I'm hearing is Capanese. Stop capping. Stop faking. All right, y'all. Bye.